What's the plan today? We need four cups of beach plums. And this is the beach plum. So they're kind of dwarf shrubs. I mean, they're not like a full tree, right? No, they're dwarf shrubs and they always stay dwarf shrubs. So when they keep growing, they'll continue that way. Sometimes the plants don't have any beach plums on them. And who knows why? There's just some years they don't have it and some years they do. So the one on the left and the right, don't have, any don't have it, but this has some good looking ones. This has some really good Okay, ones. show us how you pick them. You just grab them with your fingers? You just pull them off with your hands. There's no harvesting machine that's necessary for this? No. What if they're yellow versus red? Does that mean they're not quite fully this, it's just a ripe yet? It's just a different variety. These are all ripe. And if we have four cups of these, we're going to add four cups of sugar and one cup of red wine. Ooh, sounds good. And boil them down, and then we have to strain them to get rid of the seeds, and then cook it again. Okay, this is awesome. We'll stay tuned on how this all unfolds. Here in the kitchen, point out what you're up to now. So we need to cook it for five, 10 minutes, and then we are going to strain it to get rid of the, the skin and the seeds. And then what's left is going to be, which goes through the strainer, is going to be the jam. So what's inside here now? The berries? The, the beach plums and sugar and one cup of red wine. What type of red wine? Yeah. What type? Uh, I like a know. Merlot? Like a Cabernet? I think this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. That's awesome. Yeah. What uh, temperature? You just put it on high. High. It just bubbles for... 10 minutes. It's almost finished. We have like one more minute. You have to stir it occasionally to make sure it doesn't stick. And the goal here is beach plum jam. Beach plum jam. Because the beach plums themselves have a really big pit and um, they're a little bit bitter. The ratio of pit to fruit is higher than a regular plum, probably. Oh, for sure. It's higher than most things. Because I ate one. It's, it's like mostly pit. It's mostly pit. It's We're not going to get a lot cherries. of jam. This is going to be just a little. Oh, we like, we scooped that up a second. That was good. Mm. It's getting there. They have to, it has to soften up so that we can squash them. Awesome. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Huge advantage to having Mom at the beach. Hey, Mom, I love you, but B. Great work on the dishes <laughs> and the jam. Okay, so this is almost looking like sort of syrupy, like it's. It's almost ready, but we need this pan to make. So I can put macaroni my macaroni and cheese. Okay, so I can test this. Mmm. Pretty good. That is good. Wow. We have transferred what was the initial boil down to mom. What is it? This is the second process this is of the heat. End boil down. It should be almost ready. It just needs to be thick enough, and I think it is almost thick enough. I'm going to turn it off. It's getting really hot. Okay. The electricity, just so you know, comes from the roof with our solar system. Very exciting for our little net zero play. Good work, Mom. Keep it up. Big smile. So now, where are we here? This is what it boiled down to. So, out of four cups, it's very, very hot. Mm. Too hot. Okay, so it's gonna cool and then we can eat it. Yes. 